Hey people, thank you for tuning in to another um, DIY video. Sorry about the lighting on this. I'm just uh, recording this really quick. Um, sorry that I haven't put up any videos lately. I haven't been feeling well. Um, I can get into that on another video because this is about the DIY. Um, the reason why I'm talking to you guys before the DIY is I can't find a picture of it. But anybody who watched... Uh, made in America with Beyonce, Made in America this year, 2015, Beyonce's uh, performance at Made in America. During one of the interlude videos where, you know, you've just seen a video, you're not seeing her on stage, she's wearing a jacket that's kind of like her Texas jacket that she wore on, on the run tour, but it says Virgo instead of Texas, kind of. But it's not leather. I think it was just like a wrap jacket. I don't know. I can't find an image of it anywhere, but I remember seeing it. And um, yeah, and I don't feel like watching all the way through the video just to take a screenshot of that one shirt because if you know her performance was like an hour long and you know that's just something i feel like doing but um it so this jacket is kind of inspired by it it doesn't look exactly like it that's why i'm saying it's a beyonce inspired i saw her wear a jacket similar that said virgo which is her zodiac sign so i decided to make me one for which my zodiac sign because my birthday is coming up my birthday is actually you know what day i post this but um my birthday is december 20th i don't so yeah that's coming up it's really soon because today is like the 16th of the week. anyways um so if you guys know what image i'm talking about then you might get the the reference to beyonce in it if you don't know what video i'm talking about or you don't know the performance i'm talking about then it don't matter you know if you would if you like it then i say go for it if you don't then don't okay um if you would like to look up something very similar like i said it's a beyonce uh, on the run tour of her with a uh, jacket a leather jacket on that says texas that's kind of similar to the jacket i kind of modeled this one i made out of so you could go with that but um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already all right check out this now what you're going to need and you're going to need a glue gun um i have some faux leather for um faux leather on a wrap i don't know i'll show you the brand real quick it was from a uh, ribbon boutique i got it at hobby lobby you're going to need um some iron-ons i got some iron-on stars but Really, you're going to want the iron-on letters for whatever it is you're trying to spell. I'm spelling Sagittarius. It was each 89 cents, but these are stick-on and iron-on. And jewels are kind of optional. You'll see what I'm going to do with the jewels in a little bit. Scissors. And, of course, the jacket that you're going to work with. Okay, so I started by taking the, um, the iron-on letters and peeling the back off. And they already sticky. These are stick on iron on, so I stuck them right onto the faux leather. Um, as you can see, all the letters is kind of laid out on here. Then I cut them out so that it gave me like a gold border. That was my biggest thing. The whole purpose of the gold was just to kind of give it a gold border. I don't know. I thought it made it look better than just the little regular iron ons. You know what I mean? So um, here I am cutting all the way through all these letters. It did become an awful lot because I had a lot to a letters to cut out. I guess this would be pretty much the longest part is uh, cutting out each of these letters. Um, okay, and I used a cardboard box to put in between my jacket because my jacket has these little sheer um, fabrics in between it as you can see through the box. So I didn't want to get the front of the jacket stuck to the carpet or to the jacket. So here I am just positioning them how I want them to be. Um, and of course I sped all this up. But yeah, just positioning them, moving them around until I'm happy with how it looks. Yeah, and I feel pretty good about that. And I'm not going to be able to fit my stars on there. So yeah that, that wasn't like the way that looks so i decided to cut out a um square of the faux leather fabric and i flipped it over to the other side of it and i drew my zodiac sign 
which is a like a little arrow thing so I'm gonna try and freehand it of course you could print out something and use an actual template and stuff I didn't do all that because because I just kind of freehand it and and my zodiac sign is kind of simple I guess if you have a difficult zodiac sign I would suggest printing something out and then like kind of you know tracing it and then actually cutting it out after you trace a good version of it but mine is easy so um yeah now i'm just gonna cut it out and with cutting out you just cut it out however you want to cut it out um as you can see i'm kind of cutting off on camera i didn't mean to do that i didn't do that on purpose but it's hard trying to stay on camera when you're doing a diy and this one is with me, everything is kind of like trial and error. I don't really do everything, you know, because I don't do everything with a plan. Sometimes I just go and start cutting away. So I started cutting away at the shape until I was happy with it. Okay, and I'm still trying to position those stars on there, but it's just not working. So, so yeah, I took them back off. Oh, I think that was when I was uh, shaping up the corners a bit. But again, I'm off camera, so it kind of sucks <laughs> shaping it up. Okay, so then once I got it positioned the way I wanted to, I pull out the hot glue gun. Um, and I put everything down with hot glue. Of course, that's what I'm doing right here. Just putting it all down with hot glue. So now I'm just like going one by one. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going one by one and placing the letters down with, um, I'm putting glue on the letter and then sticking it back down. I know I'm kind of putting the glue on there off the camera, but that's what I'm doing here, putting the glue on. Okay, so um, then while I was kind of working on it, um, I noticed like I wanted to put some jewels on there, but then I thought, hey, because the letters have this black backing, this black part in it, maybe I should do the same with some paint. So I just grabbed some regular acrylic paint and began to paint some uh, black lines. I could have also done a white one too, because that's kind of how the letters are that with that 3D effect. but. I think this worked out pretty good. So I'm just painting the sun using um what is this called again? Acrylic black paint and paint it on top of the faux leather. It's faux leather, so um I will say that if you push around faux leather too much, um it's going to rub right back off like the the acrylic paint. So you gotta make your um your layers kind of thick and make sure they're dry before you do anything because it'll move the paint so I pulled out my blow dryer and made sure I, I did two layers of paint so that it looked really dark two layers of paint so that it looks dark and then um, yeah and then I blow dry it again to make sure it's all dry Okay, now this is me just making sure nothing stuck to the back of the paper, which some of it was. And I noticed that uh, my letters weren't 
sticking down as good as I want them to. So I actually went off camera well, to go grab my E6000. And I will say though, with if you're gonna use E6000, make sure that your um, jacket is completely flat. If it's not, use something to weigh, weigh down the letters after you put the glue on the back. Um, then, you know, use something to press down on it. So this is me just going around the edges of the letters so I can make sure don't none of them come off. And the edge of the symbol just to make sure I can get glue. Make sure it doesn't it's not gonna come off, you know. So then I took out some jewels because I have jewels that are like all different sizes. So I started to position out the sizes and the the kind of area I wanted them at. Like I said, they're all different sizes, so I have a couple in my hand that's like really small, so I'm like, gotta go past those. But after I positioned them and was happy with their positioning, I pulled out the E6000 again and put glue on the back of each one and placed it back where I, of course, wanted it to be. Okay, yep, that's how I'm placing each and every one of them on here. And then I was just pushing everything to make sure it was all good. And of course, I'm thinking about putting these little stars on the front, but I don't know. And here's the finished look. All right, and I hope you guys like that. Um, it was, as, like I said, I'm not feeling well, so it's kind of something I just did to kind of get my mind off of me not feeling so well. Um, but it was fun to do, it was easy to do. Um, all of the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure you can get it at any arts and crafts stores, maybe if you have a Joann's or a Michael's or um, maybe even a Walmart, to be honest. I just went to Hobby Lobby. Um, thank you again. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. I will have more videos coming as soon as I get to feeling better. We'll be back on schedule for Let's Rap with Little Lady Carter. But in the meantime, you can check out all the old Let's Rap with Little Lady Carters um, on this channel. Do that, okay? Appreciate you guys. Again, thank you for watching. And remember, I love you guys. Love you.